Hey everybody, we're back and we're discussing the Dells Dam with Kelly Thomas. So Kelly, I wanted to ask you a bit about the parks and the, the area there. I mean, you can still camp on site? Yeah, we at the Dells Dam, we, we do have some recreational areas where people can camp. Uh, we have some places that are day use only. Uh, the, we don't have per se camping facilities where you think, okay, you got full a place, hookups yeah, full hookups, uh, satellite TV. Um, what we provide as far as camping in some of our locations is just an area for a dry camping. It's really just a parking spot. Um, but you know, in this area, a lot of people like that. Um, they, it's their way of getting away. The people from Portland, you know, they they want to get away. Yeah. People from the Dallas, they just want to go out and have some fun, and they don't need all those amenities. Uh, we do have some outgrading lands at the state parks like at Deschutes uh, or Columbia Hills State Park. Either one of them do have hookups if that is something you're looking for. Mary Hill State Park is another one that, that people can do um, that kind of camping if that's what they're looking for. Right. It's funny though because you don't, at least I don't really think of a dam as a place that I would go camp at. Um, but as you said, a lot of people actually do, do utilize it and enjoy it. Yeah, the, the, reserv the main attraction for people um, is not so much the dam per se, but it's the reservoir the dam uh, has made behind it. Uh, people will go out there and do all types of recreation. They do anything from the normal boating, kayaking, canoeing, uh, that kind of stuff. Out here, of course, windsurfing is a big thing. Uh, fishing, big thing. It, it's, it's just a way of life for people out here. Uh, and, that, and that's what the Corps of Engineers does. As I almost said uh, every one of their facilities, they have a lake behind it or some kind of place where people can recreate and do those types of activities. Windsurfing is kind of a more gorge thing, of course, but uh, our parks are set up for that stuff. Uh, Rufus Landing is just a flat area where uh, people can come out and launch their kites. And yeah, I was going to say, it's big for kite boarding. Yeah, 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 definitely. On the Dallas Pool, that's probably the, our most busiest park uh, for windsurfing. Uh, Salilo is another place where people do windsurfing. It, usually the crowd is a little different at Salilo. It's the people learning to windsurf. Uh, the people that do, don't do so much kiting because we do have trees that are harder to get around. Mm. Uh, but they like the irrigated lawn there, so they'll go out there and that's a good place to start. Okay. So the uh, reservoir, you, is that the Dells Dam up to like the Mary Hill Bridge? John Day Dam area? Yeah. Is that all considered the reservoir? Yeah, what, what, they, um, what they consider the Dallas Dam project um, is, is the Dallas Dam and then um, what the bridge right below it. So uh, the 97 bridge that okay. goes across. So starting there all the way up to about a mile below John Day Dam is all considered the Dallas Dam project. Uh, that's everything my staff, uh, as far as park rangers, manages outside the state parks those types of things. Any, any of those parks or lands that are along the river that aren't state parks or out granted to somebody else are what we manage. Okay. Yeah. So the park that used to have on, on the Dells Dam site there, that used to have a little train, mm -hmm. I can actually remember riding it quite a few years ago. Um, is it still there? Uh, a part of the train is still there. Um, unfortunately, uh, about six or seven years ago, uh, we had a derailment of the train. Luckily there was not any public members on there, but it derailed, unfortunately. Um, the cost to fix it was just overwhelming. Uh, so what we've decided is to not utilize the train anymore. Uh, we do have a piece of the train that is still at the dam uh, down there by the duck pond, what we mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. that's gonna be turned into a, an interpretive exhibit about the train and, and how the train was utilized not only to get people, visitors over to do the public, but how the train tracks and trains were utilized to help build the dam. Oh, okay. Um, that, that's a work in progress, but that is gonna stay there. And when people are able to come in and do tours and things like that, it will be a stopping point so people can at least remember the train. Okay, so the train actually was multi-purpose. It wasn't just there for tourists. Well, the, the train that people know uh -huh. as were just, it was just a passenger train that was there for tours and stuff. But during the building of the dam, they used the tracks that the train sat on okay. to, to help build the dam, bring in supplies, those, ki those types of things. Okay. The cool part about it is um, that the train at one time, you could actually take the train through the powerhouse. Uh, there was train tracks through there and you could bring it up to the powerhouse. You could actually drive the train all the way through it. Um, most people don't realize that or ever done it. Uh, the train, most of the time stayed outside the powerhouse. It had locations where it would stop and people could get off and do the recreation they wanted or do a tour of the dam, either guided or unguided. Okay. 
Yeah. And you guys have plans for expanding sort of the, the, there's like a trail system in the works and some other stuff. What's that about? Yeah, the, uh, the Riverfront Trail here in the Dalles uh, that also goes all the way to the, the Gorge Discovery Center. Um, Which is that going to all be connected? Yeah, it, 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 right now we have a piece of it at the Dalles. It isn't connected to down at the Riverfront right now. Uh, but there is plans to do that. So what people will see is one long trail from the Dalles Dam all the way to the Gorge Discovery Center. So they can That's they great. can do a seven or eight mile hike right on a trail. It will be it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, one of the plans that we're going to do is help or try to tie in that that trail into the old train track and actually get people down to the Duck Pond or the old Patterson Park. Um, so during you know. A normal hour set hours from like six to six say um, people can hike walk box, or bike down there Roller have a blade. picnic do whatever they want if they if they want to have some more fun that day they can go all the way back to the discovery center once the trail is finished great yeah so um, do you guys maintain that trail the whole, will you maintain the whole piece or just a section no the uh, the the whole trail is um, it's part of the parks and rec department here in the city, uh, okay. so we don't maintain the trail. Uh, we have a segment that we will help maintain. Uh, the Corps built the segment that's down there from our visitor center now, just um, over on exit 87, um, over to the dam. We built that. Unfortunately, the the trail that was built there right now at the dam leads you to a road. Oh, I mean, it doesn't lead <laughs> you to a park. It, it just dumps you off in a road. So. Uh, what we're going to do is change that up a little bit, take it on the old train track trail, and it's going to lead you right down to where you can do some recreation. Cool. Yeah. Well, I want to talk to you about the power uh, generation operation there at the, at the dam when we come back. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We're discussing the Dells Dam.